Hi guys, George here from Zero Period Productions, and I have a question for you. Have you ever wanted to be the High King of Skyrim? Well, I know the answer is yes. It's one of my most viewed videos ever to this day. Today we're taking a second look at Become High King of Skyrim, but this time, it's the Immersive Edition. And it's named that for two reasons. One, because saying Immersion has become a meme in the Bethesda modding scene. And two, because this mod makes a major and actually immersive change to the original version of the mod. Become High King of Skyrim, Immersive Edition, by DJ Aretino, is available on PC for both Skyrim Special Edition and Classic. To get started on your road to roll, you'll need to have completed the main questline and killed Alduin, and simply speak to any NPC that you would have a positive relationship with. For instance, anyone you've completed a quest for. From here, you'll go through the process of gaining support, and you'll need 60 different NPCs to support your claim. And if they like you, they'll be added to your petition to take over Skyrim, or something. Now, doing this 60 times is kinda tedious. I feel like there could've been a better way. Maybe get the support of 10 people, and then instead of going person to person 50 more times, you pay bards to tell tales of your claim, and slowly people come to support you through word of mouth. Or you go from city to city and speak in town squares with a chance for passerbys to hear you and accept your claim. But talking to 60 people seems a little unnecessarily repetitive. You'll also need the Jagged Crown, which you claim during the game's Civil War questline. With that quest complete and this mod installed, the crown should appear on the war table for the respective side you helped. Solitude for the Empire, Windhelm for the Stormcloaks. And if the crown's not there at all, despite completing the quest previously, meet Sergus in the Solitude Prison, and he'll have a spare waiting for you. With 60 supporters and the crown in your possession, speak with Ulfric or Elisif to complete the quest and take your place as High King, or Queen, of Skyrim. That, or if you want to skip this step entirely, you can enter set AA is High King to 1 in the console commands, and poof, King. The biggest change between the original version of the mod and this one is your new home as King. In the previous version of the mod, you would rule from a city called Highreach, a city that you reached by going through a cave in a mountainside, a city that really doesn't exist anywhere in Skyrim. However, in the Immersive Edition, you rule from Solitude, as is tradition for Skyrim's High King. The mod will still make some references to Highreach, and it's currently impossible to find a workaround for this. As King, or Queen, you'll have a few options and abilities. NPCs will greet you and acknowledge you as King. You'll have the ability to remove your bounty should you commit a crime and the guards come after you. You can order people to bow to you, dance for you, and even give you all of their possessions. Maybe you shouldn't have been High King after all. Also, you can sentence people to their execution. Or, if you're feeling generous, you can promote them to the Jarl of specific cities. As king, you'll have a royal court at your disposal, complete with a steward, advisor, court wizard, housecarl, and royal blacksmith. The steward collects taxes for you, allows for you to divorce your spouse, allows for your forces to be called back to solitude, and even calls for the Jarls to convene at the Blue Palace. But only for the Jarls that you've assigned through the mod. Your advisor teaches hard-to-learn skills once a day, and allows you to toggle new dialogue options for NPCs such as marking them as essential and unessential, and the ability to mark them for execution. Your court wizard provides a store for potions, the housecarl leads your armies and allows you to purchase more soldiers, and the blacksmith sells pre-tempered weapons. You'll be granted both a set of royal bodyguards and a royal army. You can buy five soldiers at a time for 7,500 gold. They'll spawn in at your level and can be outfitted individually. Similarly, you can promote them or anyone else to be heroes of Skyrim, higher ranking members of your army. You can assign rangers who patrol Skyrim and keep it safe from bandits and monsters, and have them recalled safely to solitude by speaking with your steward. As king, NPCs are at your mercy. You can invite them to live in solitude as citizens, you can imprison them in the solitude dungeon, you can even have them enslaved. You do know that slavery has been outlawed in Skyrim for a long time though, right? Or you can order people to fight in the arena for your enjoyment. Rise up, Stormcloaks, and by your spear you won't leave here alive. He's got spirit, I'll give him that. Come on, I yield. Not not much spirit, never mind. Not much. You're gonna finish him off? Taking your sweet time, troll. Just everyone's gonna fight now. Everyone's gonna take a go at it. As long as someone kills him, I'll be happy. Come on. Fight for your king! I swear, if he's the one to survive all of this... Don't look at me like that, I'm your king. 
Guess he can't die, never mind. Alright, fine, you're free to go. The mod just really wants you to torture your subjects, I feel. And finally, the mod includes a Thalmor War. This is just meant as a fun, repetitive Warzone system, allowing you to fight the Thalmor with your own souped-up army across Skyrim. To get started, head to the Thalmor Ambassador within your court and make or break a treaty with the Thalmor to either start or end the war. While the war is active, you'll have a chance for the Thalmor to attack major cities while you're in them, and each Thalmor slain counts against their total force size. The Thalmor Embassy will convert into a War Embassy, a main hub for their war efforts. By attacking the Embassy itself, you can drastically reduce their troop reserves, and even slay a commander to hurt their numbers even more. This is intended as a harder area, with enemies being level 70 or above. On top of that, there are four different Thalmor battle zones, meant to represent the Thalmor invasion force in Skyrim. There's one outside Whiterun, another by Stendar's Beacon, a third by Haldir's Cairn, and the final one near Peak Shade Tower. Once you enter any of the four zones, you'll start a battle with up to 30 Thalmor soldiers against 10 of your own soldiers, as well as housecarls and heroes. If and when you complete all four zones, simply speak to the Thalmor Ambassador to reset them or bring an end to the war. Obviously, this is not on the same level as something like the Second Great War mod, and it wasn't meant to be. Instead, the Thalmor War section of this was meant as a fun, repeatable gameplay loop, and to give more conflict to your ongoing rule. But in the end, that's what the mod's about. It's not a super serious mod, it's not necessarily 100% lore-friendly or quest-focused, but it gives players a chance to play King. It's something that doesn't necessarily make sense for the base game, but is something a lot of people have wanted over the years. There's been a few different ports of the mod over the years, but to me, this is the best one out there. Allowing the player to rule from Solitude and the Blue Palace is great, and having to rule from some made-up city in the original version was one of my biggest critiques. The mod is not voiced, so you will need the Fus Rodeau plugin for SKSE, or it'll be impossible to read what anyone has to say. The mod does have some bugs and inconsistencies, and frankly, that's just what happens sometimes when a project changes hands. Every mod author has different ways of doing things, and sometimes it's hard to find a way to undo or change things that the previous mod author had coded in. In the end, I know this is a mod that a lot of people want, and a mod that a lot of people love. It does change quite a bit in your game, so I do suggest making sure that you have a clean save that you can revert back to if and when you're done with it. It's a fun way to mess with the world, but at some point, you'll probably want your solitude back to normal. Just make sure you get all those executions out of your system first. Thank you guys for watching! If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, why not check out my Patreon, which helps to support the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.